All right, so in this video, I want to get you kind of acquainted with how to upgrade from where you are. Let's say you've been doing some content on your phone and you want to step up your production level. One of the things I would suggest is to get into the cinema camera line if you want more of that cinematic look. What you're looking at now is I'm recording this on a Sony FX30. It is a, the entry level in the cinema line for Sony. Now you can start out at about $1,500 to $2,000 with the entry level, and then their higher end, you can spend as much as like $50,000 to $100,000. But actually one little piece of trivia, the movie creator, if you've seen that, was filmed on an FX3, which is not the entry level, but it's just above that. But basically, I think this is a good start for you. A lot of cameras that have the interchangeable lenses give you this option. You just can't do this on your phone. You can have different kinds of lenses. Now this particular lens that I have in my hand here, it can go to like 18 millimeters, which is a very wide angle, up to 300 millimeters. It can really stretch. It's what you call a zoom lens, a telephoto lens. So I'm inside, I don't need any close-ups. I'll take this off and I'll pop in something like the 16 millimeter lens. Now a 16 millimeter lens is a very wide angle lens. And so if I'm doing interviews, this is a great lens for that. Now you'll notice at the end of this, there's this big contraption I have at the end. This is called a kind of a mat cover. And so this helps if I am outside, if I want to kind of decrease some of the glare uh, that's coming in, I can use this. I can also set in here different uh, ND filters, things that limit the light coming in. So if I have issues with light coming in from outside and it's kind of messing up my shot, I can use this. But this is a 16 millimeter lens. The last lens I showed you was a Tamron. 18 to 300 millimeter lens. The different thing about that lens and this one, this one lets in a whole lot more light. So you can get away with a lot less favorable light conditions where it's pretty dark and still get a pretty decent picture. What I would suggest though, is to have as much light as possible to make your frame look the sharpest. A lot of you are gonna be looking for, I know you're probably gonna be looking for a very sharp, clear image. And so you can get that sharp, clear image when you have that 16 millimeter lens. Right now I'm filming this on a 16 millimeter lens. And so you can kind of see the clarity there. And I don't actually have super great lighting conditions. I just have one small light here. It's not even my regular key light. It's just a regular LED light. It's a newer uh, 5600K uh, light. And so it's putting out somewhere around 4400K right now. Basically it's just average lighting that I have. It's not great lighting. Now when you're recording on your phone or recording on your camera. You wanna make sure that the settings are good. So you can have decent lighting, you can have a really good lens and a good camera, but if the settings aren't right, that can also throw off the quality of your video as well. One of the things that I like to use with the Sony camera line is the S-Log, which is the, the log allows a lot more of the data to be recorded. And I use what's called a S-Log3 and a 422 picture quality. And so you're able to get a lot of information that's captured when it's recording. So when you go back to play it back and you're doing your editing, you have a lot more flexibility to improve the image and make it look better. Uh, you have more capability to do nice little effects if you need to. Uh, but overall, it just brings out more of the color. And definitely if you have interview subjects of different varying backgrounds, different skin tones and things like that, it really helps to capture the skin color properly. That's one of the hardest things for a camera to capture is the true skin color, the natural skin color. So those are a couple of things that I would like to suggest. Another thing I would suggest too is making sure you have a high quality audio. Now I'm using a Sennheiser uh, microphone right now. See, I'll use this boom right here. I like to use this on set, have this thing set up just out of the frame where you can't see it, but the sound quality is very high. So it enables you to have a really high quality uh, setup in terms of sound, video, and lighting. So those are just a few of my tips. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe and turn on that bell notification so that the next time that one of my videos come up, you'll know right away. Thanks for watching.